My name is Roman Nahal, RomanHall.com. I want to talk to you guys about my latest listing. It's 3660 Pleasant Knoll Court. And maybe we can get a, a shot out of this, the actual address. So what I want to talk about with this listing is it's actually 12 acres uh, of land. Uh, three of the 12 acres have been approved as a flat pad location. Right now, if you look around, we're on Ruby uh, and Mount Pleasant. Road, but what we're gonna do is I'm gonna actually take you to this hilltop lot. It's in Santa Clara County jurisdiction. I'll talk a little more about that, but I think this is a great, great opportunity. Uh, wait till you see this view. Um, uh, this is zoned for a single family home, so the right investor who would like this hilltop home, it's offered at 1.9 uh, million is what we're asking for it now. But if we can come on over here, this will show for that single family home, uh, the previous owner and seller um, has made significant, significant improvements uh, for the buyer. Again, it's zoned for uh, a single family home. We're gonna head up to this lot in this cul-de-sac here on Pleasant Knoll, uh, court and this hilltop just has amazing views as you can see in this 3d rendering uh, here, but uh, The person with the right offer price will also get these entitlements and uh, Essentially be able to save a lot of time and money um, Because this is zoned in Santa Clara County um, all the permits uh, grading permits uh, Check the Santa Clara County planning file will all be included with this um, There's actually many pros and cons uh, I too live close to this area uh, of actually living in Santa Clara County versus living in the city of San Jose. Um, and we'll talk about that on the quick drive, but let's go check out this lot. Uh, we'll take one last quick shot of this. So we're essentially, the closest cross streets to us right now is Ruby and Tully. Um, and again, we're in San Jose, California, and this listing is 3660 Pleasant Knoll Court. Uh, let's go check it out. Come on. So, back to Santa Clara County jurisdiction versus City of San Jose. Uh, people get weirded out by by that, but uh, essentially, you know, my parents have been living there since 2001. There are many pros and cons, like uh, anything. Your assessed value of your home will be slightly lower, uh, but so will your taxes. With City of San Jose, your taxes will be higher, uh, but one could argue your assessed value would be higher as well. Um, some, you know, you'd have to have the sheriff come out uh, instead of, you know, SJPD. Uh, but you're also being in an unincorporated area, is what they call Santa, Santa Clara County jurisdiction. Uh, you, you know, in some areas don't have to worry about your power going out because um, it's all tied up with county uh, lines for the fire department, um, etc. So those are a few of many you know, pros and cons that one has to look at um, when trying to understand, right? This is uh, in Santa Clara County, it's not the city of San Jose. Now, the number one question that I get, uh, my wife just asked me earlier, the camera woman, thank you, is, is this um, dividable? Um, right now, the fact that it's in Santa Clara County jurisdiction, to be completely straightforward, check out the planning department, um, but, uh, it is not subdividable. Two possible routes. One is zoning, which can take up to two years. Um, people with the right resources can try that out. But another creative uh, one is a annexation, and that is essentially um, having the city of San Jose incorporate your lot and take it over. Now, it is possible, um, and it, it could be a shorter process. We're turning on Pleasant Old Drive now. So we're very close to Evergreen Valley High School, lots of private schools um, in San Jose. And uh, yeah, this one's a little trippy for me because this is a, it was a listing for uh, my neighbor. He has a few uh, nonprofits. This is essentially going to be his home, although he has another one built nearby. But um, he decided to focus on those nonprofits and um, has spent close to hundreds of thousands of dollars improving this. Um, so need the right person to really talk about the value uh, of this land and its entitlements and um, as we're approaching these evergreen foothills you'll see so you can have your own private driveway and this is why this was so important um, to make this video and document this to really show people the true value so we're going to Pleasant Knoll Drive approaching Pleasant Knoll Court you can see it's a private road 
you're gonna have your own private road and the only thing you will see is you know a hundred bucks a year and that essentially goes that you share with your two neighbors here we go we get a shot of this 3650 and 3645 um, who are living proof that it's possible right to build uh, here and you would essentially share have your own private driveway this would be the beginning um, of this and wait till you see these views of, of your lot um, this would be neighbor one and neighbor two will catch on our left beautiful beautiful home and you would be above them both and this would be another private road so as you can see it's very safe very secure uh, we got our gate code open uh, for you guys for the purpose of this video but let's go check out this lot we're going to see two basketball courts this is a, a seller listing from his church that he brought back for storage um, this would be our neighbor here beautiful beautiful home great people but here we are now we're, we've begun we just ran over and chains uh, your personal private road and on the way back it's just incredible uh, views of, of downtown as is up above um, a lot of people said that this is not a big deal but you don't know unless you live here that the 4th of July everybody's gonna want to be at your house because even my wife as a newlywed was blown away that from the moment it gets dark on the 4th of July till the moment the sun rises, you are gonna have, go ahead and look to your right, breathtaking, breathtaking views. We'll get out in a second, those weeds are blocking it, but of Silicon Valley, of Evergreen. Um, but let's check out this lot. I'm so happy to finally document this. I feel like it's a key. Aside from your typical drone footage and listing videos to really allow people to understand. So just that we're looking here was exactly what I was showing you guys on the map earlier. This is your private cul-de-sac um, that we came all the way up. Uh, this video lens is probably not going to do justice what I'm looking at and I can basically see Mount Pleasant High School, see Evergreen Valley High School, um, strip of downtown. Um, all the way through and through of Silicon Valley and I promise you at the time of the 4th of July you're gonna see fireworks in plain view popping up from neighborhoods uh, just a sea of light that's very breathtaking and um, for the right investor who would like to build their custom dream home not only you're gonna have a fast track uh, to that but it's gonna be great so all utilities on site very important first thing a developer looks at so we have city of San Jose uh, water um, we, uh, yeah, what other utilities do we have? Um, electricity, uh, you name it. Um, there are septic plans as well. Plumbing, gas. Um, so, the improvement. so, of these 12 acres, uh, three of these 12 acres is what is called an approved uh, pad location. ranchers around here there are people who would simply love to buy this uh, for agriculture or simply uh, for horses and grazing we do see a lot of horses uh, coming around while we're pumping gas here but uh, let, let's make our way up really quick and I just want to show the flat three acres that's an approved pad location for a single family uh, home and because it is a county rule it's a lot tougher to subdivide these into lots but they're, for the right developer, they understand that there's always a way. Um, annexation is one route, zoning a much longer, much more expensive route. Um, but it's important to note that these areas have been slowly being annexed by the city of San Jose. And there's a process, you can check it out, but I believe it, uh, everyone has to agree upon that. And there is an independent survey and third party company that conducts the survey. So as we're making our way, look to the left. The view only gets better. Uh, pretty surreal. Um, if 
you ask me from Los Gatos and all those you name it that's all great but I don't think many of them capture the angle of having downtown San Jose actually Lake Cunningham clearly Santa Cruz Mountains all the way uh, to the rest of the bay uh, the East Bay heading this way so give me a quick look at the flat portion and we'll make our way down back to the car and I just want you to actually see as you're turning the corner getting ready to go to work very easy access to 101 680 280 uh, what type of view as you turn the corner you'll get to see every single day before heading uh, to your office so for the right executive dream place to build uh, the plans are set for a 12,000 square foot home and spectacular sellers willing to share all those building permits and plans I mean did a music lounge library theater indoor swimming pool you name it uh, it's been done um, as we make our way uh, up here we'll begin to see flattened area so as we turn around here we'll make our way back down now Continue to show the 12 acres as they rise all the way up and through, but those uh, eagle eye views, I understand, uh, you can check that on your own, but I think the more important thing was to really talk, discuss, and narrate a um, few common myths, common assumptions about a lot of this type. But to me, I, I think it's an incredible uh, opportunity just for the right niche investor to have the time, patience uh, to actually build this custom home and for a developer to understand what type of uh, variable entitled land holds and that's time. Uh, it's essentially selling time saves you a lot of time, energy, money, when dealing with government projects, uh, planning department get this custom home built. Now, essentially, can you vary from those plans? Yes, absolutely. Any rules that have changed since in the Santa Clara County uh, is planning department, and I always suggest that you check with them. Um, obviously, those will have to be accounted for any variance or discrepancies of, say, additional things you'd like to add. One thing to note is become very very relaxed over 2016 2017 it's available on their website as well uh, with secondary dwelling units there used to be a lot of restrictions about how big secondary dwelling units can be how far from driveways or distance um, th those were really relaxed and become much more flexible so check them out um, and with you know the housing shortage and everything going on I would not be surprised uh, to see Santa Clara County allowing other units as well so I'm on the wrong side of the car I want before we cut you off guys I want you guys to see this exit coming out here one more time the view um, so let's get in so essentially that was th 3660 Pleasant Old Court it's a dear family uh, friend of mine who uh, you know, felt agents in the past did a great job, but maybe didn't do the best job telling his story um, from a very difficult county jurisdiction side of what the seller has really gone through and uh, how much effort, time, energy that they've spent and that this potential buyer would save in improvements to this land. So um, yeah, you're off to the office and, or to drop the kids off and check this out guys. Continuing down your own private view, um, all major utilities here ready to go. Uh, this land is essentially ready to build. So I'd like to thank my, my camera woman, the beautiful boo, my wife, and uh, we're gonna get back to it um, in the buyer's position for a huge deal in Joe, that's also Santa Clara County jurisdiction. So same rules apply. Uh, if you have any questions, I would love to uh, help you out and get you all the disclosures and all the documents um, and
and be transparent and truthful about um, any misunderstandings or common myths about uh, what is possible with this lot. So my name is Roman Singh Nahal, your evergreen realtor in the local Bay Area. Um, I wish you guys the best uh, and check it out, 3660 Pleasant Old Court. Have a great week. Cheers.